my name is Jennifer Collier and I'm the Extended Learning Supervisor in Galt Joint Union Elementary School District. And we are checking in with Galt Elementary. And we have some special guests with us here today. We have Grace Malson, our board president, and her daughter Zoe, an incoming eighth grader, along with our superintendent, Dr. Karen Schauer. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I am just so pleased that we could start this check-in process because we are getting ready for a new school year. And for us to launch a new school year with Disney, it does take growing and learning together. And what better way to do that than with our board president, who is also a parent in the community of Galt, and her daughter, Zoe, who is also a student in our school district. So thank you so much, everyone. Excellent. As we get started this morning, I just wanted to um, get us started with some questions that just are some, facing some of the things that we're looking at it, with distance learning and coming back to school. So Grace, I'm gonna to go to you first and ask you, you, what is an encouragement you can give parents as they're facing distance learning for the first time or as we go back to school? Yeah, well, I know there was a lot of anxiety um, when schools closed in March, and our teachers with two days notice did a phenomenal job, but they've also had time this summer to really get into, like, the nuts and bolts of distance learning, um, different technology platforms, Guru, uh, how to take participation on Zoom meetings with their students. So I think that this year... Um, Something that's very encouraging is that our teachers are going to be more prepared and distance learning is going to look a lot different than it did in the spring. Wonderful. Thank you. And now I'm going to pass this to you, Zoe. As you're facing you know, back to school, here you go. What encouragement could you give your classmates and kids coming back to school? Um, basically that we can do this because we had two days notice the first time and now we have, like my mom said, months in advance. So we should be able to do this. All right. Stay positive, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. Speaking of positivity, as we've you know, traveled now some months through distance learning and what, what we've learned a lot, everyone has learned a lot about the platforms and so forth. What would be um, some of the positives that you've taken away from, from distance learning? Grace. Some of the positives, um, well, as a parent, it's kind of nice. I can stay on top of her schoolwork. I can just walk into the kitchen and be like, what are you doing today? Um, what have you done? I can go through her schoolwork much more easy instead of going through a backpack and finding all the papers and forms. <laughs> it's all right there on the Google Classroom platform. Um, other positives is you don't need to be stuck at your desk or from 8 to 2.30, you can go on the road. You can take your family and pack up the computers and go on a road trip and the children can still learn. Where, you know, throughout California. Um, also more time at home. We've done a lot of cooking, incorporating some math lessons into that. It's been pretty fabulous. Awesome, truly any, any time, anywhere learning, right? So yeah. excellent. And Zoe, what's a positive for you with distance learning? Um, probably being able to turn off my camera whenever I'm going to go get something. Mm -hmm. Like, say that I didn't, say that I kind of woke up a bit late and I didn't eat breakfast. Instead of having to go the whole day without having any food until lunch, I can just kind of turn my camera off and pop downstairs for a bit. Grab and have something to eat. Back up. <laughs> awesome. All right. So super flexible. You can have some privacy sometimes when you need it, but not for too long, right? And just get right yeah. back in it. That's awesome. All right. So lastly, I would just like to ask, what is something that you're hopeful for for this school year? Something that you're just looking forward to? Grace. Things that I'm hopeful for. I am hopeful that um, Um, I'm hopeful for as an educational community that um, our parents are supportive of what the distance learning, that they're supportive of our educators and our teachers that have worked very hard. Um, I'm hopeful that this pandemic will be over and we can get our students back into the classroom 
you know, that's something I'm really, really hopeful for um, after this first trimester, fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, and I'm just hopeful that, you know, distance learning is going to look a lot different and our students are going to be more engaged in our, in their education and that eventually we can get all everyone back in the classroom and back to some sort of normalcy. Right. Excellent. And Zoe, how about for you? What are you hopeful for this year? Mm, hopeful for Washington DC to go definitely yeah. also to get back in the classroom and see my friends because you know with the camera buttons right there you can't really always see them right and awesome. yeah all right excellent so dr shower as we wrap up this morning any positivities or words of encouragement you would like to share with our families and kids yes well the galt joint union elementary school district is an incredible school system it does take teamwork to make dream work and that happened prior to the pandemic that's part of our secret sauce of success and that teamwork involves our parents our students our staff and our community working together and i know we can do it thank you so much and as we wrap up today here with checking in um, with Galt Elementary, please feel free, I invite you to check out our website at www.galt.k12.ca.us um, for updates and information. And thanks so much for joining us today. Have a great day, everyone. You too.